So we filmed the first part of this a while back and then other things kind of took precedence. We got busy with some things and um, so now we're just getting to it because the ground on the pig side of the fence where they're enclosed has gotten lower and lower as they tramp it down. And so it's just getting harder and harder for me to climb over. And even though we have that gate I showed you I can do, it just... It's easier to climb over than it is to open that all the time. So, I've got something in my eye. But, so anyway, we are going to finish this project now that the concrete has cured for a really long time. And ironically, it is, I think they said it was 30 something degrees here today after all the negative temperatures. And believe it or not, I feel colder today than I did in those frigid temperatures. So I got my coveralls on and I'm gonna get my boots on and my jacket and we're gonna go outside, get this done. Wanna give a special shout out to Rebecca Davis who made us these hats. You'll see Ryan's in the video also. Uh, he's got a like a blue, um, modeled one like mine is a purple and gray. So thank you so much, Rebecca Davis. These are so amazing and warm and we love them. So thank you again. All right, guys, let's get to it. Don't mind the old dishwasher, but it's serving as a table till we can take it apart and dump it. Um, so anyway, this is the gate we're using and because Grant is little, we're gonna put this piece of panel on here and then that way we don't have to worry about him getting out. We don't think he can fit through, but he's quite the little pig, so just in case.
Oh man, I just missed it. Sherman was laying down here and Grant climbed up on him to get to the hay feeder and Sherman was not <laughs> impressed. <laughs> but they're getting along good. Grant doesn't take any of Sherman's stuff. And Sherman, on the other hand, has been really patient <laughs> with this little pipsqueak because he is a wild man. Here Ryan is removing the wires that join two cattle panels together so that way we can remove the one piece of panel. The cattle panel you see on the left extends all the way down to the boar barn and the benefit of not cutting it allows us a lot more flexibility to be able to shift the panel down to accommodate our needs. No Grant. Get a rock. So we're almost done with the gate. We just need to secure the panel to that wooden post. And the gate should be fine there. Um, 
it's just temporary because that post right there is in the ground pretty good because it's winter time and we tried to move a post over but we kept hitting a rock so that's the benefit of not cutting your panels that panel there we're able to pull up that rod mm. we're able to pull up that rod right there and just slide the panel down because that was what we were using as a gate before we had gates so it'll get us through the winter make life a lot easier all right so we got the gate in so that'll make life easier it's a gate that goes in versus comes out so it swings that way but that'll make life a lot easier and that'll get me through till spring And I was lucky enough to, that it was warm enough to be able to rake out their area and rake their feces down there so it'll fertilize the field, but they're not walking in it because as you can see, they're just walking right here to the water and the hay bag, that's it. Same thing with the girls. I was able to rake out their pen. Believe it or not, when their feces freeze, it's a trip hazard. So we've got that as clean as it can be right now. And the turkeys are all clean. As much as can be with it frozen. They tend to poop on the back side of the log. And then it freezes and you can't get it up. So we've got it cleaned up as much as possible over there. And they're strutting their stuff, as always. And the chickens are miffed because they're in the coop. But if I open the door, they won't come out right now anyway. Because it's too cold and they don't like the snow. Alright everybody, hope you enjoyed today's video. I know I'm glad to have that fence put in. Because it's going to make my life a lot easier. Because I'm the one who does chores. And... Um, thank you again to Rebecca Davis for these amazing hats that have been keeping us warm. We're enjoying them. We're really loving it. They're just so thick and comfortable. And I'm going to put her email in the description below or her channel page because I know she's going to be starting a channel soon. And that way you guys can go check her out and start subscribing now. But she's going to be doing videos, she said, on how she does these hats and stuff. So it's pretty cool. So thank you again, Rebecca. We really love them. And thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. And have a great day. Stay safe. Take care.